Hey y'all, long time no see. It's your girl Hot Mess Budgets. <clears throat> Excuse me, Mrs. Hot Mess Budgets. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. So happy to be back. I missed y'all. I missed budgeting. I miss doing my business. Um, I just, I just miss you know my regular life. Okay. Don't get me wrong. I completely enjoyed the wedding, the honeymoon. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, what are you doing? Go do that right now. Okay, it's hot mess budgets with two S's on the end. Go follow me on Instagram. Also follow me on talk 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 tick tick tock talk tick whatever. I will leave my information down in the box below. But make sure you go follow me because I posted a lot of wedding stuff, pictures of the day of on my Instagram. So make sure you guys go and follow me over there so you can see more. I also did post a little short of the day of the wedding um, on YouTube as well. So I do plan on putting together a video. Um, I am still waiting on the video from our wedding to come back. So once I get that back, I will share with y'all, but hopefully the little short I put up for y'all um, gave you a little glimpse into what a day we had because it was amazing y'all. I just, I couldn't have asked for a more perfect day. So yeah that's that so now that we are back my Etsy shop is open I just kind of want to give y'all some updates before we hop into the um, cash envelope stuff and I will put the timestamps below if you don't want to hear that all this boring sh um but so now that your girl is back it is time to clean my hot mess of a debt up okay them student loans they not um they're not really forgiving. So um, I am going to be focusing on paying off my student loans, my credit cards, my collections, anything in debt that I have, I plan on paying that off now. Um, I did kind of sit down and do my budget for the rest of the year. And um, it's looking like I'm not going to be able to really start putting anything towards debt until maybe September, October. Um, the reason being is because I am going on, me and my husband are going on vacation at the end of this month, July. And then I'm also, we're also planning on going on a cruise with my cousins next year. So I have to put a down payment down for that. So it's traveling that is pushing me behind. Now, don't come for me. I know some of y'all like, mm, maybe you shouldn't do that. Maybe you should. I'm doing my budget my way. Okay. And to me, it's not a race. Like I'm going to get there eventually. They gonna get, student loans gonna get this money eventually, okay? No, but yeah, I think after, you know, getting out of school and buying a house and then saving for a wedding, I just kind of want to enjoy my money for a little bit. Um, that does not mean I'm not going to be putting money towards my debt because I am already got everything planned out. So yeah, we are going to be tackling our debt this year. We're going to start tackling our debt. I do plan on doing a separate video of all the debt I do have, like the amounts and stuff. But without further ado, let's get into the cash envelope stuff. And But before we do, y'all already know I got to say my line. I gotta say my line. If you're new, make sure you are subscribed. Hit the like button if you like your girl and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss when I upload these hot mess videos. Now, let's go ahead and uh, get this mess cleaned up. Okay, just to run through my paycheck really quick, um, I somehow accumulated all of these subscriptions, y'all. I don't know where they came from. It's mainly like, iCloud and stuff like that I because y'all know I'll be having issues okay with my phone stop recording in the middle of me um filming a video so I bought some um iCloud space but apparently I had iCloud space somewhere else and then I got Google photos I got all these subscriptions that I plan on eventually getting rid of because I mean they're look they're like eleven dollars it's just it's adding up at this point so our salary was 1723 bills came to 1078 left me with 645 to budget with gas got eighty dollars grocery 160 household is going to get 10 um fun is going to get 76 dollars me and my husband are going out tonight he got a new job let's give him a, an applause mr hot, hot mess budgets got a new job so we are going out to celebrate him tonight it is a huge move i'm so proud of him um and then miscellaneous is just a bill i forgot to pay oops okay yeah i ain't perfect um so that's gonna come to 423 leaving us with 222 um looking at our sinking funds oh i got so many sinking funds y'all and and the updates are gonna come because some of my sinking funds are gone 
okay and some of my sinking funds have been added so that's what we're gonna be talking about today girl because i need to update y'all on the changes that we going through okay the changes personal is gonna get five also y'all i cleared out my binders okay i took all that cash out because your girl was going broke okay so i took all the cash out i'm just gonna i just figured like let me just start over um the only thing I didn't take cash out of was my business binder. I ain't gonna mess with that, okay? My savings, my taxes, my P.O. box, everything is still in my business binder. However, that one right there. Mm -mm. Okay, so personal got five. Dexter's getting five. Medical is getting five. My hair, 123. I went and got my hair did today. Yes, honey. That's the one thing I could not wait to start doing again was getting my hair retwisted because y'all, if you've been with me for a while, you know my wrist is messed up from my hand surgery last year. So I cannot retwist my hair. It just, it, it won't happen. So um, yeah, I, I'm so glad to be back to getting my hair done because I can't be walking around here looking like somebody didn't play football in my hair. Um, clothing is going to get $10. I'm not getting my nails done this pay because I mean, they still pretty look they still pretty look <laughs> they still look pretty good um definitely next time i get paid i'm going to get my nails done but yeah let's let's get into the nails though okay even though they they you know they're, they're a few weeks out they're a few weeks out but that's okay um this is the first time that i've done a design on my hands like this and it turned out pretty good i mean his line's a little crooked but ain't nobody perfect baby ain't nobody perfect all right um car maintenance your girl need brakes again oh my god god it's always something adulting is ghetto okay if you're not an adult yet appreciate it because when you get here it gets ghetto even ghetto -er than it was before so yeah your girl needs breaks again um so i'm gonna be trying to build that up um let's see supplements that's a new one that's new okay um your girl's back in the gym okay i fell in love with the gym um i have been taking supplements well they're really like powder supplements like that you know the tiktok girlies be putting you on the stuff i've been taking that bloom the greens the superfood greens whatever they call y'all know what i'm talking about if you watch tiktok you know what i'm talking about um i take glue I don't know the names of it, y'all. Don't don't come for me right now. <laughs> but basically, I have been um, taking supplements to kind of help boost um, my muscle growth, my weight loss, and just uh, being healthy in general. Um, I do plan on adding supplements like a daily multivitamin, um, pro probiotic and prebiotic, all that stuff. So I added a supplement to my sinking funds. Um, I also added reading gym gym is going to be for gym clothes or any type of tools that i might need for the gym because um like the ankle straps and the um elastic bands and stuff uh i need that stuff so gym is going to get ten dollars and um yeah so our sinking funds i meant to do that on this side but nothing changed really um, our sinking funds is going to get a total of 197 leaving us with $25 left over. As y'all can see, I already put credit one down because that's going to be the first piece of debt that I'm going to tackle. This is a credit card. It has $300 on it that I need to pay off. Um, so we're going to be starting on that here in a couple months. So the $25 is going to go into my emergency fund. Um, we're starting at zero with our emergency fund and then I'll kind of once we get into the binders I'll kind of explain um, The changes and stuff when we get there. So let's go ahead and get into the cash envelope stuffing All right, y'all. So we are going to be stuffing a total of five hundred and forty eight dollars today So we got one 20 40 60 82 20 40 60 83 20 40 60 84 20 40 60 70, 80, 95, 510, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. I just, I'm going to just finish counting it because y'all ain't going to mess me up counting today. Y'all already know how I get when I get to counting. I do have $8 sitting on the side of me that my fiance gave me. I forgot why he gave it to me. Just because he loved me. My fiance, y'all listen to me, my husband. <laughs> it's 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 an adjustment. Um yeah, so this is from him. Five, six, seven, eight, eight dollars from my husband. Um 
I need to figure out what I want to do with this. I kind of know what I want to do with it. So I'm going to set it aside, but I'm going to keep it in my eyesight because I will forget that I need to do something with that. So um, first change, we went back to our good old trusty, crusty coach wallet, baby. Okay. I love this wallet. I don't know why I got rid of it. Um, we going back. Okay. I even got the dividers. So in our wallet, um, I did have personal Dexter and which is our dog if you're new here and uh, medical and clothing in my uh, wallet I had like a black one of these um, but I got rid of it because I moved my personal clothing Dexter and medical I moved it into a different um, envelope which we'll get there um, but just to kind of update y'all it's not in my wallet anymore so Let's start with groceries. Um, week one is going to get $80. 20, 40, 60, 80. 100, 100. And then week two is gonna get the same, 20, 40, 60, 80. It's so weird like filming again. I hope I'm doing okay. Y'all know I'm usually a hot mess, but I'm trying, I'm trying. All right, next is going to be spending we going out tonight so we're gonna give ourselves 76 dollars for tonight i'm looking at my breakdown because if you ain't new here you already know your girl be messing up okay we gonna get it together in this video so spending is gonna get 76 it's gonna get 20 40 60 70 75 i'm watching the denominations make sure i'm doing them right all right 20 40 60 75 6 that is full tonight <laughs> me thinking that i'm only gonna spend 76 dollars tonight i better i better restaurants is um it's not new obviously because i've been had these but um i am adding it back to my wallet now that the wedding is over i want to eat that's what i want to do so i'm gonna add it back but it ain't getting none today uh miscellaneous is still going to be used for my gas um gas is getting 80 dollars 24 40 60 80 yes that's correct that's correct i did already get gas so i need to oh and we already went to the grocery store so sometime um next week i'm going to do my weekly check-in and take this money out put it back in the bank household is going to get ten dollars this pay and honey that's it for our wallet let's go ahead and stuff it on down in there How have y'all been? Like, what's been going on? I've been missing the budgeting community. I really ain't been on um, YouTube that much, so I don't know really what, you know? Like, I need to catch up. I'ma need to catch up. Anyway, child, y'all already know my uh my videos stop recording. So, the changes that happen with my binders is now I have um, a savings binder, which is going to be for my long-term savings. So what I have in there is my emergency fund, my house emergency, um, cushion, which is just basically like a, a cushion in case I need to pull some cash, um, for something. That's my cushion. It's just, I don't know. It's just there just, just because just in case, um, it's like an extra safety net. Uh, also inside of that, I don't know why I just said that like that. Inside of that binder is going to be travel, um, a new camera because y'all know I am, I'm fed up with my phone. Like I'm just fed up, but a new camera, um, and then back to school. So I am plan on helping my sister, um, just kind of, it's like $200. It's not much, but anything well. So, um, I'm going to be helping my sister with the back to school stuff. So that is what is in that that's my savings binder um the new binder which is this one is my spending binder so it's going to be everything that um i'm going to be doing frequent spending out of uh so we'll get we'll get to that when we get there and then of course if y'all remember from my previous videos i have been saying i wanted to get a binder for my bills um which I'm gonna try to get a month ahead. So this is my one month ahead bills binder. Let's start with our emergency fund. So with our emergency fund, house emergency and cushion, I, every paycheck, what I would do is put um, the biggest amount into my mar emergency fund until I get to a thousand dollars. And then I would put like uh, maybe five or $10 in house emergency and cushion. 
but what we're going to be doing for the next couple of months until i get to a thousand dollars in my emergency fund is i'm just going to be funding this by itself so today emergency fund is going to get um 25 and I am going to be using my new $1,000 rainy day fund. I will make this available on my Etsy shop. Um, I have been working on this. I did post a little bit about it on my Instagram before I took my little hiatus or vacation, whatever you want to call it. Um, it should be listed right now if you want to go and look at it. But yeah, so I'm going to be, let me take this out so you can see it, using this as my rainy day 1000 emergency doubt what, what am i saying y'all let me slow down so i'm gonna be using this as my emergency fund envelope but i figured it would be fun to kind of make it make a um a uh, savings challenge out of it so um as y'all can see there is a 25 on there so i'm going to um grab my 25 dollars first and then I am going to cross out the 25. Let me get something to cross it out with. What do y'all use? Do y'all use Sharpie to cross it out with? I have a Sharpie, but I got like these pins. I'm gonna just use Sharpie. I'm kind of scared though. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Let's just do it. We're gonna color it in. I don't have cute little markers like y'all be having when y'all do these savings challenges. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna use a Sharpie for now and hopefully that'll work. I'm gonna let that dry. But yeah, so $25 down into our emergency fund. I'm gonna let that dry. All right, so then moving on, I think that's all we're gonna be putting into this. Let me see, actually, no. So I did also add my car maintenance into this, um, binder just because I feel like a car maintenance is something that I'm going to be um, saving for long term wise even though I need brakes um, so car maintenance is going to get $20 today Um, travel is not getting anything back to school is not getting anything and either is camera so that is gonna be it for our long-term savings um, let's move on to our spending binder that's not it this is it. still trying to get used to what is what okay um, in our spending binder we're first going to stuff personal personal is getting five dollars today I'm trying to debate on whether I want to keep track of what I have in these envelopes on my iPad or just kind of put a savings tracker down in there. Y'all let me know what y'all think I should do. I don't know what I want to do with that because I feel like I'm going to be spending so much out of these. It's no point because then I'm going to have to come in and, you know, is that doing too much? I don't know. Let me know. Dexter is going to get five as well. Oh, I, I'm just like going over these like, <laughs> I'm just going over them like I didn't make these envelopes. So yes, I made these. Um, I do have new envelopes in here. I made all of these myself. Um, of course, this was made differently because I um, made it to match this. But um, yeah, I made these. So these are new envelopes. If anything, ooh, 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 I'm gonna take the whole table down. Hold on now. If there's one thing that I would like for y'all to know about me is that I like to switch shit up, okay? I got new envelopes. That's me, baby. I like to have, you know, different, new. Go back to the set, you know, I'll switch my wallet back up. Um, so yeah, Dexter got $5. I'm going to just go ahead and do it for today. I'm gonna wait and see what y'all say. I wish y'all can answer me now. Um, medical is going to get five as well. We are just in the process of getting our savings bulked back up because the wedding, oh my God, Lord, that was crazy. Okay. Saving for a wedding is insane. 
if you if you're trying to do what I did don't do it <laughs> hair is gonna get 123 two, three. yeah y'all the day was perfect I don't want to say everything I went through was worth it but I guess I learned a lot like you you may not think you will but I definitely learned a lot about the people around me um and y'all probably heard this before but a wedding was like me having my own wedding it was new for me like nobody close to me has ever had like a wedding like that um where I was really involved <sighs> 10 out of 10 ghetto okay nails is not getting anything clothing is going to get ten dollars your girl has lost weight so i need to get clothes so this is a necessity my clothes is falling off me like my pants are sagging it's a good thing it's a good thing it's just dang now i got something else i gotta buy my supplements envelope did i let me make sure i'm going through these and explain it to y'all um so i did get rid of my beauty and self-care envelope i just kind of created one for hair and one for nails i've been had clothing the supplements is new supplements is going to get 19 dollars today i think i'm good so far 10 15 16 17 18 19 i think i'm good on my supplements so far but um what i want to do is just make sure that you know when it's time for me to get more supplements i have the funds to do so because i don't want to i don't want to skip getting my supplements All right, so this last $10 reading, um, I also, when I was coming up with different sinking funds categories, I wanted to really put things like hobbies and stuff that I really like to do because I don't wanna, that is what causes me to overspend is that I go and get stuff that I didn't have a budget for. I like reading. Um, I haven't read in a few months though. Um, I'm trying to finish this book called Boundaries. Do I have it near me? No, I think it's in my room. I keep it by my bed. Um, but I need to finish that book. But there's so many books I have in my Amazon cart and the save for later. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, so I'm going to start putting a little bit aside just so I can get my books and start reading. Um, Jim is going to get 10, this last $10. So like I said before, this is going to be for any gym supplies, gym clothes, anything I need for the gym. Um, this is for me motivation to go take my to the gym because if i got money to spend on gym clothes baby i'm going to the gym <laughs> skincare y'all already know i like my fenty beauty honey okay i tried to go let me show y'all don't sue me la, la crochet la roche pose um but yeah no nah, this is a no for me mm -mm. and you know i have oily skin in my t-zone and this says for oily combination skin and this made my skin so oily like i look like i was swimming in crisco oil robin don't do that to me so i'ma stick i'ma stay loyal to robin and i'ma get my skin care from um Fenty skin. Anyway, um, I am good on that right now, so I'm not going to put anything towards that today. Eventually, I will need to start putting stuff in there because her is not cheap. Um, shopping. Yes, I have a problem. I do. Um, but if I, you know, am responsible about my problem, it'll go away. So, um, I decided to create an envelope for shopping. So this will be my envelope if I want to go shopping or if I feel like a target itch coming on and I ain't got no money in here, I better scratch that target itch with my fingers because the money ain't going to do it. Okay. So that's it for our spending binder. Mm, let me, there I go y'all. Oh, I'm talking and I'm forgetting to write stuff down. Oh, I need to put this back in here. Y'all think this dry yet? <sighs> no, it ain't dry. It looks like it's still wet. Hold on, let me see. Oh, it's dry. Yeah, we good. Okay, let me put this back down. Now you stop it. Let me put this back down in here. And then we gonna hop into our business envelope. Wait, I don't, I don't have no money left. <laughs> what we hopping into there for? Cause I ain't got no money left. I do have this eight dollars um from my husband um and i'm about to show y'all what i'm about to do with it because 
I am nice. My plan is if I have any um, rollover money, any leftover money, I am going to be throwing it at my bills. So this is my bills binder, uh, formerly known as my wedding binder. Uh, so in this, I when I went through my bills, I have a lot, as y'all can see, I have a lot of like subscriptions and stuff. And the one thing I knew I didn't want to do was um, create an envelope for that because it's like that's not a necessity all of these bills are like things that um are a necessity to me and are a part of my four walls so um i i don't know how i want to start it yet i think i want to do like a snowball and just kind of fill up the smallest bill first so let me see that is 68 dollars. this is 63 this is 100 this is 97 your girl's car insurance went down when i added my husband onto my car insurance it went down who would have thought getting married would bring your car insurance down um but my phone bill went up because i gotta watch my old watch broke y'all and i'm back in the gym so i figured this is another motivation for me don't be like me because i find motivation in material things sometimes it's horrible oh i'm a bad person um AT&T is $100 now, car note is $473, and then mortgage is $570, so um, it's between ADT and LeafGuard. ADT is cheaper. That was a lot of work. <laughs> so um, what I'm going to do is any money that I have left over, I'm going to throw it into um, ADT until I get to $63. Once I get to $63, I will move on to the next lowest bill. This is just going to be something I'm not like trying. To, I'm not in a rush to fill this up. Basically, this is just something to kind of get myself started. So five, six, seven, eight dollars is going into ADT. I did also make these envelopes as well. These have um, it's like a holograph. I don't know if y'all can see that in this light, but yeah, so that is my one month ahead binder. And then um, I, nothing really changed with my business binder, but the fact that I made some new envelopes. I got a problem y'all, I know. But I just made a new envelope, uh, new envelopes for this. Um, I do know that my PO box payment is coming up at the end of August. It's, $97 I can't remember but um, I will be also saving for that out of my own paychecks just to kind of make sure I keep that PO box open so that is going to do it for our first paycheck of July I hope you guys enjoyed um, I don't know if y'all noticed but I did go back to using the budget moms um, templates just because I like her templates for some reason I like them better than I like my own so I have been using her templates y'all I appreciate every one of y'all who have stuck around stay subscribed I know I haven't posted in a few months um, life has just been beautiful, you know, celebrating my husband, you know, celebrating my new marriage. So one thing about me is I'm not going to let social media, YouTube, you know, take over my life. I have a life and I'm going to live it first. Okay. And you should do the same. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this hotness of a video. Y'all, not my phone stopped recording in the middle of me saying thank y'all. <laughs> Anyway, make sure y'all are subscribed, hit the like button and the notification button so you don't miss when I upload these hot mess videos. I will see y'all next time before my phone stop recording again. Bye.